In this video, I'll be going over everything you need to know about the brand new taxi cab business added to GTA Online. This brand new business opportunity consists of a reworked odd job from a single player. In these odd jobs, you are required to pick up customers and deliver them to their destination to receive a tip. This is all accessed from your very own downtown cab. And first, let's go over how you can unlock this business opportunity. When you load into GT Online at the top of your screen, you should notice a pop-up letting you know that you can visit downtown cab core to access the new taxi work. This can be accessed over here at the taxi icon on the map. The first way you can start the taxi work is by heading up to the white checkpoint and here you will have the prompt to begin taxi work. This will start up the first taxi work mission and it's a very simple mission in terms of design. Just pick up the customer at their location and then take them to where they need to go. The taxi work can also be started up from your very own taxi. This taxi can be purchased from the Warstock Cash and Carry website for $650,000. However, it does have a trade price of $400,000 which we will discuss more on later in the video. When you get into your taxi, which can be requested via Pegasus, all you have to do is press the key bind on your platform to begin the taxi work. So, how does this work? Well, from the moment you begin taxi work, you can complete as many jobs as you want before deciding to exit. This can range from 5 jobs to even 100 jobs. It doesn't matter. In order to exit the jobs, you can just hold down the exit vehicle button. However, it will end the fares that you have completed. So if you've done a total of, let's say, 200 jobs in about 3 hours, if you exit the vehicle, it will end all of the jobs that you've done and you will walk away with your profit. In order to get the trade price for the taxi, you need to complete 10 taxi jobs in a row. This means you cannot exit the work before doing a total of 10 jobs, otherwise you won't receive the trade price. Finally, let's talk about the actual money making part of the taxi work. In the bottom corner, there is a tip option. From the moment you begin your first job, even if you've completed, let's say, 10 jobs before, but you decided to exit and then come back, let's say five minutes later and start up another taxi job, it will always remain the same for the first job. The tip will go from the smallest at $1,000 and then will cap out after 10 jobs, earning you the most from the tips. Like I said, you can do as many taxi jobs as you want in a row. However, after 10 jobs, you won't get any more money from the tip bonus. Finally, if you end up crashing or taking too long, then the tip value will decrease. So just try to crash during the fair. But with all that being said, that was all for this quick video, letting you guys know of the brand new business opportunity in GTA Online. Do be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you did find this video useful, be sure to give it a like, as well as subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.